Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Don Howard. Today, I'm bringing you the story of the surprising personal tragedy and resilience in Demi Moore's life. Demi Moore is known for her timeless classic beauty that seems only to deepen as she ages. Her career has spanned four decades, and she's garnered praise for her performances in films like Ghost and Indecent Proposal. But her success didn't come easily. She's had to endure more than most people, and it appears her early heartbreak and challenges created a true fighter who loves what she does. Demi was born Demi Jean Gines in Roswell, New Mexico, November 11th, 1962. Her biological father was out of the picture even before she was born, and the man that her mother eventually married moved the family countless times during her young life. She suffered from kidney dysfunction as well as an eye impairment that required an operation. When she was only 15, her stepfather took his own life. The same year, her mother allowed a man to pay for access to her teenage daughter, and Demi was raped. After this, she was on her own. She left her mother's house at age 16 and dropped out of high school. She was lucky to have been next door neighbors with German actress Natasha Kinski, who inspired Demi to seek work as a model. She was instantly bookable and began to get steady work modeling. Slowly but steadily, she began to find success in television and film roles in the early 1980s. And the beginning of the next decade in 1990 saw her most celebrated role as Molly in Ghost. From there, her career took off, but her family troubles weren't over yet. Her mother lived an unpredictable, volatile life and was arrested for drunk driving and arson. The year that Ghost came out, Demi cut off all contact with her after she walked away from a stint at rehab that Demi paid for. In 1993, her mother posed nude and reenacted several of her daughter's famous magazine covers, as well as the love scene from Ghost. Despite the obvious humiliation and anger this likely caused, Demi was finally able to forgive her mother and they reconciled just before she passed away from cancer in 1998. Demi would have one more heartbreak in store, even after everything she'd been through. After her marriage to Bruce Willis ended amicably, she fell in love with Ashton Kutcher and became pregnant. Tragically, she lost the baby six months into the pregnancy, which must have been absolutely devastating. While she and Ashton wound up tying the knot, their marriage was over a little more than five years later. Despite or perhaps inspired by her hardships, Demi has been committed to philanthropy throughout her long career. She has supported numerous charities, including All Day Foundation, American Foundation for AIDS Research, Artists for Peace and Justice, Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking, Declare Yourself, Free the Slaves, Healthy Child, Healthy World, Raising Malawi, the Art Elysium, and UNICEF. She traveled to Haiti with the Artists for Peace and Justice following the earthquake of 2010. In 2009, with the help of her then-husband Ashton Kutcher, she started the DNA Foundation, a nonprofit that fights child sexual slavery. Today, her more than 2 million Instagram followers enjoy her candid and authentic representations of a simple life in rural Idaho with her adult children. She's a role model to many, especially victims of sexual violence. Through her many trials as a young person, she must have never given up hope that her life could be different and better. It was through her great adversity that she found great strength and survived through challenges to become a powerful force for change in the world today. Thanks for watching my video. If you're into the kind of stuff like I am, learning the history of famous people and how they've overcome loss, defeat, and tragedy to succeed in their passion, 
please like this video and share it with others. I'm going to continue to update my channel with more stories like this one, so please consider subscribing so you'll be able to see the next video when I release it. Thank you.